a review on performance of shear walls and cost optimization of the structures based on different shear walls position. Abstract for modern trends towards high-rise buildings increases recently due to the high increase in the number of tall buildings, both residential and commercial. In comparison with earlier high-rise buildings, today's tall buildings are becoming more and more slender and leading to the possibility of more sway. Thus, shear walls come into play, shear wall is a structural member designed to counteract the lateral forces acting on a structure. The present study is on the factors which helps in optimizing the cost of the structure with minimum lateral deflection and total cost of the structure by the help of shear walls at different positions. Keywords High Rise, Lateral Deflection, Optimizing Cost, Slender, Shear Walls, Sway and Tall Buildings. I Introduction Two reinforced concrete, RC, buildings often have vertical plate-like RC walls called shear walls in addition to slabs, beams, and columns. Their thickness can be as low as 150 mm, or as high as 400 mm in high-rise buildings. Shear walls are usually provided along both length and width of buildings. The simple and most general definition of optimization is making the things best. Structural optimization is the subject of making an assemblage of materials sustain loads in the best way. Here in this paper, we tried to optimize the cost of the structure in accordance with the minimum serviceability requirement as per IS code specification such that we don't focus on minimizing the deflection but to make the structure come within serviceable deflection limits and the overall cost stays within limit. 2. Literature Review A. Mr. K. Lovera UET. A. L. 3. Conducted nonlinear analysis of frames to identify effective position of shear wall in multi-story building. An earthquake load was applied to an 8-story structure of 4 models with shear wall at different location in all seismic zones using A-tabs. Pushover curves were developed and has been found the structure with shear wall at appropriate location is more important while considering displacement and base shear. B. Syed.M. Katami ET.AL. 3. Presented the results of time history analysis which addressed the effect of openings in shear walls near fault ground motions. A complete shear walls. Shear walls with square opening in the center and shear wall with opening at right end side were considered. From the results it was observed that shear walls with openings experienced a decrease in terms of strength. See Dr. B. Kameshwari ET.AL. 3. Analyzed the influence of drift and interstory drift of the structure on various configuration of shear wall panels on high-rise structures. The bare frame was compared with various configurations like I, conventional shear wall 2, alternate arrangement of shear wall 3, diagonal arrangement of shear wall 4, Zigzag arrangement of shear wall V, influence of lift core shear wall. From the study it was found that zigzag shear wall enhanced the strength and stiffness of structure compared to other types. In earthquake prone areas diagonal shear wall was found to be effective for structures. Dinanjama Nanan ET.AL 3 conducted analytical study on dynamic response of seismo resistant building frames. The effects of change in height of shear wall on story displacement in the dynamic response of building frames were obtained. From the study it was concluded that it is sufficient to raise the shear wall up to mid-height of building frames instead of raising up to entire height of the building. Ishazad Jamil Sardar ET.AL Fig.2 Effective Position of Shear Wall 3 modeled a 25-story building zone V and analyzed by changing the location of shear wall to determine various parameters like story drift, story shear and displacement using A-tabs. Both static and dynamic analysis was done to determine and compare the base shear. Compared to other models, when shear wall placed at center and four shear walls placed at outer edge parallel to X and Y direction model showed lesser displacement. 3. Objective To model a structure using SDA Add.Pro with all the loads acting on it like dead, live, wind and earthquake loads as per is code. To analyze the deflection for the bare frame G plus 10 and G plus 15 structures. To compare the deflections due to provision of shear walls at different positions in both G plus 10 and G plus 15 structure and compare the results with the bare frame and check with the serviceability requirement. To optimize the structure cost with minimum deflection, i.e., choosing the best possible shear wall position such that deflections are within limits as per is code and cost is minimal for shear wall construction. 3.5 M. 4 Methodology. In this chapter a multi-story building has been modeled and analyzed considering all loads like dead load live load, wind load as per as is standard and seismic load as per as is standard. The structure details taken from reference is given in Table 1. 1 STID or, STID.pro registered trademark VAI, is a structural analysis and design computer program originally developed by Research Engineers International and Yorba Linda, CA. In late 2005, Research Engineers International was bought by Bentley Systems. It is the world's number one structural analysis and design software. 
The analysis is done in a numerical way by the Stand.pro program, a finite element package, which enables us to solve the linear and the nonlinear PDES and thus the modulus of elasticity of the beam material is obtained. Stand.pro is modeling and analysis software which helps in the modeling and analysis of required models, a FEM tool. It is used to analyze complex problems in mechanical structures, thermal processes, electrical fields, magnetics, and computational fluid dynamics. SDA Ad.pro provides a rich graphics environment, which is used to display results of analysis that re-performed. V Modeling A Time History Analysis Models Time history analysis was performed on the G plus 10 structures and G plus 15 structures for the Bajay earthquake of January 26, 2001 at Ahmedabad having Initial velocity equals dash 0.1411 E02M slash S Initial displacement equals 3.970 mm Peak acceleration equals minus 1.0382 M slash S slash S at 34.95 SEC it was observed that for time history analysis the deflection was in order of 5 to 20 mm and thus we performed equivalent static method with earthquake and wind loads of that region acting simultaneously to analyze and come to the conclusion of how we could optimize the structure. 6 Result 7 Conclusion Thus, from the above comparison table we find that both G plus 10 and G plus 15 structures without shear walls deflects by approximately 76 mm and so we have used shear walls to reduce the deflections. Now. The best possible shear wall position i.e., position 1, would lead to reduction in deflections to 42 mm and 51 mm respectively but they would cost a total of Rs.1243200 and Rs.2486400 in G plus 10 and G plus 15 structures respectively. But, by analysis we have come to the conclusion that by providing shear walls at position 1 in G plus 10 structure and at position 3 in G plus 15 structure we have fulfilled the serviceability requirement as per is codes i.e., the deflection is within limits and that had eventually led to a total cost saving of Rs.12.5 lakhs and Rs.25 lakhs in G plus 10 and G plus 15 structures respectively.